Second stop on my all-inclusive Pearl Harbor visit is the Battleship Missouri. Both the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum as well as the Battleship Missouri are located on Fort Island, which is an active military base. As an active military base, no bags are allowed on the shuttle bus. If you do have a bag, it can be stored at the Bofin Submarine Museum before you board the bus. The Missouri is one of four Iowa-class battleships along with the Iowa, the New Jersey, and Wisconsin. Following the very patriotic entry, three different self-guided tours are offered. The upper levels, the main deck, second deck. The location of the Japanese surrender or the surrender deck is part of the main deck walkthrough. During the time of my visit, these are all self-guided tours. That may be different depending on when you visit. One of the most striking features of any battleship are the big guns. The Iowa class battleships feature nine 16 inch guns in three three gun turrets. Each gun is operated independently and could fire a shell 23 miles. Each turret has a number on the side. I believe that's the number of shells fired in whatever operation that was. That would be probably Desert Storm. Moving up to the surrender deck, this is the actual spot where the Japanese signed their surrender for World War II. Hey, there goes Brandon. See you, Brandon. Starting the upper levels tour. Almost immediately on your upper level tour, you reach the Tomahawk deck, the location of the Tomahawk cruise missile silos. Clearly these were added after World War II when the Missouri was commissioned. Missouri has undergone several modifications over its lifespan. The Tomahawks were one of the latest additions for Desert Storm, I believe. Ship is controlled in the con here. Massively thick container. During general quarters, these doors would be closed and the operators would be put inside. I don't think I would enjoy that. Submarine and a stealth ship. I think they said it's the Monsoor. So apparently this little dent here between the tape is kamikaze damage. And the bomb did not go off. Otherwise this would not look like this. There's a docent on the deck who relays the story that the kamikaze pilot who was killed in the attack when the bomb did not explode but his plane crashed was buried at sea by the captain of the Missouri. At the time that was a very controversial act. Quick visit inside the ship where you'll find a relic from the Arizona. Hard to visit Pearl Harbor and not see something from the Arizona. The memorial is pretty much ever present. So as I said with the Midway, you know, ships are very impressive. But for me personally, I'm kind of an airplane guy. The ships are, I don't know, they're cool, but uh, it's not uh, the passion that I have for airplanes. Anyway, I was recording my video and uh, they decided to sit right behind me. If, you, if you're into ships, then I highly, highly recommend the Missouri. It's pretty impressive. If nothing else, it's a significant artifact because it's where the Japanese signed their surrender for World War II. A little shave ice. First time I've been, what, I've been here three days and I'm finally getting a shave ice. Very good. Got a cherry. So next up, I will be back on the bus to go visit the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum, which is more of my speed, as I said. Hope you enjoyed the trip around the Missouri. I forgot to do it at the actual gift shop, but remember, exit through the gift shop.